show you this little video this oh. morning, Richard. <laughs> As if our blood couldn't boil. A video anymore. nasty. So this is a, an Afghan boy, a uh, young man, who took the journey across the channel and he's documented his uh, holiday, as it appears to be, on TikTok. And there he is in the hotel in the UK with his beautiful, um, huge TV and the lovely fresh sheets. Um, how do we, as a country, it offer any sort of deterrent to making that journey whilst those doing it are doing such a good job of selling the idea? But let's be very clear. These are advertisements on TikTok yeah. to uh, people all over the world to say, come to the UK, yeah. it's fantastic, we're it's the touch. best place to be, we're a soft touch, we and so we're being exploited, we're being manipulated. This will only stop when the government of the day has the gumption to carry out what we at Reform UK are proposing, which is you pick up and you safely take back to France, which you are legally entitled it's to do under two separate international treaties. The first is the 1974 Safety of Life at Sea Treaty, and the second is the 1982 UN Convention on the Law at Sea. And guess what? We know this works because Australia did it and exactly did. 10 years ago. Do you ago. have to be a certain distance from the no, shoreline? No. So at any point on that journey At any over, point. I've, I've read these treaties cover to cover. I know exactly which clauses, if I was in charge, I would invoke to pick up and safely take back under existing international law. It's, if it's so obvious and so simple, help me, Richard, why don't they do it? Because they're cowards. Can we bring in Mark White? This might be a good time. Our health and, security, uh, health and security, I've just given oh, you a different job there. It's like politics, you can do any job around here. No, Mark, your, your home and security editor. Why aren't the governments doing it if Richard is right? Well, I, I mean, I think he may well be right. There, there may well be an opportunity within treaties to do just that. But the issue, of course, in the calculation for the government is if you do that, it causes one almighty row with your nearest neighbour and with this huge trading bloc. Do they want to go down that road? Clearly they don't. But here's the point. It's about international leadership. Because if we do that and it works, you then show to all the EU leaders that that's exactly what they should do in the Mediterranean. Pick every single boat, yeah, yeah, people, yeah. everybody out of those rickety boats in the Med where far more hundreds of people tragically are dying and you take them back to North Africa. That is real international leadership. We can lead the way. We can get this done. Why won't they do it? They're gutless. I, I, you know, I think there is a real point there in that if France was to agree to a returns agreement, then within weeks this whole trade but would they stop. Won't, Mark. Because thousands of people would not come to the northwest yeah. shores of France expecting to go to the UK because they know they would be returned. And actually for the people of Boulogne and Cali and Dunkirk who have to put up with many thousands of people camped around their towns, going into the towns with an explosion of crime and antisocial behaviour in those towns, they would surely welcome that. It might mean, of course, that Paris is dealing with uh, a migrant problem uh, further are. inland, but of course yeah. they are, as are all European countries. It needs to be, I think, stopped in the first in instance on the, the frontier uh, countries, and there needs to be that, that, a coherent what, yeah. European you've Union policy. Have, you've got to stop people on the frontier countries, as you say, and then you, essentially, you then press the pause button, and the UN needs to get involved. Because if we don't do this, I tell you, roll forward one or two years, you are talking millions of people yeah, coming across. The whole Schengen border scheme will collapse as countries erect within the Eurozone, er, uh, the European Union, erect their own borders. We are facing absolute chaos, 12, 24, 36 months down the track, unless some leaders show some proper courage on this. And, and as you quite rightly say, it's the French people who will benefit, along with the British people. And Mark, what evidence is there that anything the Prime Minister is doing or saying is making any difference whatsoever? Well, of course, he says it is. I think he's... In, what evidence? He's embarked on a very risky strategy. Yeah. No real evidence that it's anything to do with his policies. With the wind, the wind. And real evidence that it's everything to do with the weather. We speak daily to maritime experts. Take a look at this, by the way. Oh. This is a boat this morning spotted uh, mid-channel, just about to be picked up by the Border Force Vessel Ranger. And here. This looks like a bigger boat, and it's absolutely packed out. I'm, 
you know, I'm just not sure what's going on in the channel at the moment. It is all over the place. We've got some boats that are coming across with just 30 odd people, some that are coming across with as many as 70, even 80 odd. And I don't know if that's indicative of issues that the people smugglers are having on the other side of the channel. Maybe a move up to bigger boats. We don't quite know. But a lot of it is dependent on the weather. Uh, and yeah. the fact is, over months now, we have had really unpredictable weather in the Channel. We've had winds blowing from the north and northeast, which means that it's difficult to get off the beaches of France and it churns up the tides. I, I, was, I was out there in the middle of the Channel last Thursday morning in a small rib, six and a half metres, the same size as some of those boats, just two of us. I have to tell you, it is a seriously hairy experience. Mm. And we caught up with a uh, border force hurricane that we think had just picked up about 50 uh, of the migrants. And we followed it back to Dover. It was quite extraordinary, 20 knots. I mean, that is quite some speed. And uh, yeah, I think, as you say, the weather is, is good and kind and we know what's happening. It's all about the money. And the people smugglers are making hay whilst the sun and, shines and, and the wind is calm. And TikTok is still carrying adverts, not just those videos which are going to make people ill watching that, frankly, but carrying adverts, telling people who they approach. To Effectively, the gangs are, uh, are advertising their wares on TikTok. Of course they are. In full and view of the, of the immigration. Of course service. they are. And, and they're doing it in ways that the TikTok's AI systems are not able to pick up because they're just using emojis. Yeah. So there's no words, there's no audio. Yeah. And that's how they're doing it. And but also, let's be honest, TikTok, partnered by the Chinese government, yes, and China, China are delighted to see the West course, suffering yes, with this. Of they course. Have no I mean, it, it's, it suits them down to the ground for, for us all to be basically arguing with each Absolutely. other, completely undermined, societal breakdown, etc. And so it goes on. And, but it all comes back to leadership. This could be stopped within a fortnight with proper leadership in the United Kingdom. It could then be stopped within three to four weeks across the whole of the Med, but these people haven't got the courage to do what needs to be done. And it's the kind and compassionate thing before all the lefties start right. attacking me, because you stop people yeah. dying. And I tell yeah. you, all these lefties, right, they've all got blood on their hands mm. because they are all involved in this thing carrying on the vested interest in the UK, making billions of pounds of profits every year. That's why they won't do this, yeah. because they're making so much and, money. And, and when Labour win the next election, which they surely will, particularly if they don't sort this out and it doesn't look like they're going to, it's going to be, come on in. It'll, look, it'll, I mean, it's bad. It's hard to imagine that it could get worse. It'll get much but, worse. But you cannot reward failure with more incumbency. That is the bottom line. Yeah, yeah.